I stole a sunflower plant in front of a police station today. A wild screaming yellow stalk fighting a bed of angry weeds. I snatched it in broad daylight, yanked the root with my hand, grabbed it like it was already mine, carrying it boldly, carrying it like royalty, like a golden precious staff or a stick or a baton, like the kind slammed on Rodney's spine. I marched down the street in a single lady parade, daring somebody to stop me. I took the sunflower home and planted it in my yard, near the barely hanging on broccoli, near the sad and strip search beets, near the carrots that came out of nowhere. I buried it thinking about my son and how he likes salty black and white seeds and how his speeding ticket could have turned ugly when we picked him up that night if the officer wanted to trip. I buried the plant with some poems that didn't amount to much. Something about waterboarding or Zimmerman whipping ass again. But my first thought when I saw it was of the homeless lady Marlene, laying in the freeway, flat on her back, weather beaten and wilted, shielding fist after fist, getting stole on, getting pummeled, right and left hooks to the jaw, sitting on her stomach, straddling her hips like a horse, hitting her over and over and over again in the face, like his uniform transformed him, like he was a king, trampling a black woman like dirt, like mud underneath his boot. I thought this lady could be my own mother, my sister, or me. So naturally, when I saw the flower, I rescued it from the police. Because sometimes you just have to march up to power. Sometimes you just have to combat the weeds. Sometimes you just have to snatch back what's yours, even if it's just a flower or a rock in the street growing like a riot in the palm of your hand.